Go on. People are talking. You gotta stop these run-ins with Lenore. You do not want people pointing fingers. Oh, come on, Black. She waltzes in here, and any time she sees me, she loses it. What am I supposed to do? I work here. I have to be able to stand up for myself. I know. But no matter what's going on with you and Ramsey, she's still the big man's wife. Calm it down. At least for the foreseeable. Only bad things will come of it if you don't. Is that a threat? No, Atkins. It's just some friendly advice. Doctor, all memory recordings of Rose Atkins have been accessed and reviewed. Would you like me to prepare a simulation for you to explore? Just give me a second, Hope. Okay. Let's find out just how involved she was. Relax, Black. Just as good at what he does. You don't give him enough credit. I told you to keep an eye on him. I told you to manage this. It's better this way, Black, don't you see? Ramsey doesn't care about Lenore. He cares about me. It's far more effective to get the girl, and it's the same outcome either way. No, not the same outcome, Atkins. The plan was to break him, not provoke him. I was a pawn in a game you didn't even know was being played. Grace? I couldn't have been any clearer. Get Lenore outside. Bring her in peacefully. No one gets hurt, I said. And do not let that idiot Jasper near any form of explosive. He doesn't know what he's doing. He seems to know a lot about bombs to me. You don't know bombs, Atkins, and you don't know him. But I know both, and I can tell you this with absolute fucking certainty. He has put the lives of anyone near that bomb in danger, his own men included. That bomb goes off, we're all fucked. Are you able to detect Grace's presence in this memory? Negative, Doctor. What on earth is happening here? Have you got the girl? We've brought her in, yeah. And the ransom demand? Not yet. We'll send it in the morning. Then it's not too late. Don't get any ideas. You can't do anything to stop this black, so don't even try. Listen very carefully. You're gonna tell me where he's keeping her, or I'm gonna kill you. Do you understand? Don't be ridiculous. Tell me, or I kill you. The one glimmer of hope in all this, my savior. He wasn't even trying to save me. He was trying to save himself. So. Oh. Is it possible that. Is what possible, Doctor? Never mind.
dare you? You didn't do this for your family. You did it for yourself. You want to know the role your family, your mother, played in all this? An excuse. An excuse for just another one of your obsessions. Another playback malfunction, Dr. Ramsey. Recommend abandoning the review until emotional stability returns. I am perfectly stable. Just bring me back out. An excuse. An excuse for just... I left this behind for you, you know. Setting up my own studio, taking on commissions. I left it all behind to be your wife. And for what? <sighs> We were an inconvenience to you, Grace and I. It's not just that you neglected us. It's that you didn't even want us there in the first place. Having difficulty locating you, Dr. Ramsey, you may have to find your own way out. No, I honestly don't. I don't know what any of this was about, but if it was all about Rose, go and be with Rose. If it was all about your precious Pandora, go and be with your work. Do whatever you want. But I won't be part of it. Not anymore. You're right. I don't care about the implications of your work, Robert. I've never cared. And changing the world means nothing to me if I can't have my family. long to realize that you were never going to have the decency to leave me you know what I've come to understand for all your genius and passion for all your talk of changing the world you're a coward you're just a coward Emotional stability is required in order to proceed safely. Let's load up the third bookmark, can we hope? Did you hear me, Dr. Ramsey? I said I recommend abandoning... I heard you! I heard you. Please, just load the third bookmark. Yes, Doctor. Loading. Please note, as with the second bookmark, 
Memory geography is likely to be fragmented, and combat is a strong possibility. Th thank you, Hope. This is Black's meeting with Howard, correct? Confirmed. You tag this memory with reference to both Black and Howard, Dr. Ramsey. Final piece of the puzzle, it seems. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. Hey, shh. It's okay. I'm a friend. I'm here to help. Talk. Good. I'm going to see him now. You still on board? I don't know for sure, no. But I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah, well, if that's the case, it's been a pleasure knowing you. I don't know. Call it instinct. Speak later. Hmm. Memory glitches becoming more well, and more frequent. I'd say my greatest strength is probably my determination. Because I'll work harder than anyone else. If something needs doing, I will do whatever it takes to get it done. Damn you, Rose. Damn you to hell. This could all have been avoided if I just listened to Lenore. I'm afraid I was black. Alive for now. Yeah, maybe some other time, right? Listen, I might have some work to throw you away if you're interested. Pays good. Situation is delicate, though, you understand? You're not going to be allowed to improvise on this one. Yeah? Sure. I'll call you more details if it's a goer. Not again. This has to stop. But I got you a present. It's a notebook for all your brilliant ideas that will change the world. So you never forget. Oh, Lenore, what have I done?
Okay, okay, um, let me see if I've got this right. So, there's convection. Grace. My dear Grace, I wish I could explain everything to you, to help you understand. Which is energy that's emitted from an object, right? <laughs> you make a really good teacher, you know that. I will find out who is responsible for this, Grace. Whatever it takes. I promise. Thanks, Dad. Sweet dreams. So, what's the deal? You got the money. Here. It's a genuine meeting. He's got some plan he thinks you could help out with. Ask me if I thought it was crazy getting you involved. And do you? I think you're a man that can be trusted. I suppose we'll find out. Thanks. Dr. Ramsey, you've gone completely off-grid this time. Are you safe? I'm safe. Just pull me back out. Searching for you now. Concentrate on the memory you wish to return to. Focus on Howard, Dr. Ramsey. See if you can locate him. And focus on the memory you wish to explore. I cannot pull you out of this one alone. Focus and find a way back, Dr. Randy. Howard, Mr. Black. Been a while. Last time we saw each other would have been... Let me see. When I stole the corner gun. Ah, yes. When you stole my corner gun for Robert Ramsey. Really, I should just have killed you on the spot. I'd feel so much better about everything. I've seen this.
Then why don't you? He was so exquisite. So flawless in the way you ruined me and my company. I wanted to even the playing field a little. Do something similar to Ramsay. And I racked my brains and I just couldn't think of who would be the best man for the job. Then it occurred to me. Me? I'm Ramsay's head of security. Why would I work for you? I don't understand. How can this be the truth? Every man has his price, Black. Especially you. I'm paid well. Yes, but not as well as you'd like to be. Not as well as you could be. It's not about the money. <laughs> that old chestnut. Okay, fine. Then how about this? According to my sources, Ramsey has a surprisingly accurate record of your criminal history, far more so than the police. Seems to me he's got you over a bit of a barrel. Work for him or go to prison. The way I see it, Mr. Black. You're his bitch. You sound jealous. I never saw it like that. He was my employee. I envy no man, Black. If someone has something I want, I take it for myself. So here's my offer, and I'll only make it once. You work for me, not Ramsey. I devise a plan to get Ramsey's Pandora device, and you carry it out. You name your price within reason, and if you're successful, I'll forget about the whole corner gun fiasco, and we'll both be on our merry way. How does that sound? If I refuse. You're alive because you're useful, Black. Don't get any ideas. No. This never made any sense. Excuse me. I said no. I'm not sure I've been clear enough here, Black. Oh, you've been clear. But I refuse your offer, Howard. I'll not work for you. I'll never work for you. I'll not carry out this little plan of yours. I don't agree to any of it. I refuse. There was more. Clever boy, Black. You've got to believe me. I'm telling you, that's what happened. I promise. I'm not hiding anything. Surprising. And very foolish. However, I will allow you to work for me. Go on. I know you, Howard. We do this your way and people get hurt. So I don't work for you, you work for me. We do it my way, and we plan it to the letter. We use my people to head the operation and your men as backup. You'll still have Ramsey's Pandora attack when this is all over. But there's no bloodshed if we can help it. I've seen enough of that to last me a lifetime. So it was you. You! After everything I gave you, everything I did, the opportunities I offered, this is how you repay me. I have been searching all this time for the architect of this mess, only to find out he was laying on a slab in front of me the whole time. I should turn off your life support. I should end you. But I'm no monster. Frankenstein, yes. But the monster is you. The monster I created. No. Against my better judgment, there will be no more bloodshed. I think of what my darling Grace would say. What my darling Grace would do. I will turn the other cheek. Transfer you to a secure hospital. And hope you never wake up. Damn you, Black. Damn you to hell! Doctor, I'm getting some very strange readings. Extreme caution advised. You never focused on what was important! Grace? Grace, is that you? I understand now. I understand everything. I know you're there. I know you're watching. You had it all backwards! I know. My child, I, I know I did. Grace, can you hear me? You had a family that loved you. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me! How could you get it so wrong? Grace, shit! Grace, if you can hear me, I'm going to 
show you some things, okay? I'm going to show you how all this came to be. Your mother was right. This was all my fault, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me help you understand. I get it now. This is all because of you. Grace, please. You let us all down. You put your creation before your family. You let me down. I know. I was a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Please, give me a chance to explain. I needed a dad. Where am I? Let me show you. You're familiar with this man by now, my love. He protected everything I'd worked to build. Did all the dirty work for me. But I made a terrible mistake. I know this will upset you, and I'm sorry. But your mother and I... We just grew apart. Rose understood what I was trying to accomplish with the Pandora in a way that nobody else could. And I did love her. But I never stopped loving you, Grace. I thought we could finish up a little early today. Go and grab a meal at that new Thai place. Let off a little steam. <laughs> what do you think? If this is going to work out between us, you need to understand that Lenore and Grace will always be part of my life. That's just something you need to accept. You either commit to something, or you end up with nothing. I couldn't commit to Rose, because I didn't want to abandon my family. And I couldn't commit to my family because I was too consumed by my work. And Rose was right. I ended up with nothing. I can't live like this any longer. With every day that passes, another little bit of me dies. I know you're too blind to see it, but you did this to her. I can't bear the sight of you, and I refuse to be your wife. I couldn't commit to her. Couldn't give her the love she deserved. But I refused to let her go. For you, Grace, my darling daughter, I loved you so much. Adult brains, I understand. But this, this is just incessant, incoherent gobbling. What on earth is she doing? I just didn't understand what it meant to be a father. All right, you, come here. Although I have no idea what you're saying, and I can say with a reasonable degree of certainty that you have no idea what I'm saying, I got it wrong, Grace, and I'm sorry. Your mother once said I used you as an excuse to work. I don't know if she was right, but I know I wanted you to be cared for, and I know I wanted you. I wanted you to have a father you could be proud of. I'm sorry. I failed. Okay, Grace. 
It's time to finish the session. You've seen everything. Just give me a moment. You're right, I... I've seen enough. Grace? Grace, my love. Are you okay? Yeah. The technology has no adverse effects that we know of. She'll be absent. I wasn't talking to you. Grace. I, I, I'm fine, Mum. I'm, I'm thinking... Grace? Listen to me. I've done everything you asked. All we need is for you to sign a few papers and we can continue where you're... Sweetie, going. you don't have to make this decision now. You're exhausted. Let's just head home, okay? Grace, talk to me. All you need to do is sign and we'll transfer the money within you're 20... You're a piece of work, you know that. Lenore, this is between me and Grace. This isn't anything to How do with you. How fucking dare you! <sighs> I'm in a room with my crippled daughter, my dead husband, and my dead husband's whore! This is everything to do with me! No, this is business. And from what I heard, your dead husband very nearly left you for that whore. You... Stop, stop, please, stop, both of you. Rose, I have a question. Go on. You had me kidnapped. You strapped a bomb to me. You conspired against my father, the man who gave you this opportunity in the first place. Grace, what are you saying? Are you telling me she's responsible for all this? My father may have had his flaws, but he didn't deserve to go through that. He lost his wife, he thought he'd lost his daughter, and he took his own life. His blood is on your hands. My question is this. How does that make you feel? Grace? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure what you saw in there, but the technology isn't perfect and memories can be skewed and manipulated. We've never attempted this on someone in your father's condition before. His condition? Robert's condition! Rose, my husband, is dead! Oh my god, I need to sit down. Lenore, the technology deals in variables, not truths. You wouldn't understand. But bullshit. I understand. I understand perfectly. And I've made my decision. My love. Don't worry, Mum. It's, it's exactly as we discussed. Okay. As long as you're sure. I'm, I'm sure. Go on. I'll take your money, and you can continue my father's work. Oh, my God. Grace, you won't regret this. She signs nothing over. She retains full ownership. Grace gets final say on all decisions. Nothing happens without her knowing it. Of course. Absolutely. One more thing. Grace. It's, it's all right, Mum. I know what I'm doing. What is it? You put a team together. You train them up, teach them everything they need to know. Already in place. And then you quit. Uh, <laughs> excuse me? You quit. When I leave here today, I don't want to see you again. I don't want to even hear your name. My father's technology will progress under my guidance, but you will have absolutely nothing to do with it. I really don't think that's going to work out. Those are my terms. Tell your boss. Listen, Grace... Tell you... your boss. Mum, let's go home. Of course. Grace, wait! Uh, come back! Let's discuss this. No. There's nothing more to talk about. Grace! Goodbye, Rose. Bye, Dad.
need to know. Okay? There's no need for the gun. Dad. Dad. Oh, God. You did this. You were responsible. Put the gun down. Responsible. Let's have a sensible, grown-up conversation. <laughs> you approached my staff, my employees, and you turned them against me. I think we both know that's not true. You took my daughter away from me. I did no such my thing. My family. Son of a bitch. My wife. Robert, you need to sit down. Let me get you a drink. No! Responsible. Someone needs to pay for this. You've upset a lot of people, Robert. I'm not the only one with a score to settle. So, you admit it. I admit you stole my invention. You admit it. My life's work. Responsible. Claimed by a thief as his own. You did this. So, yes. Add me to the list of people you royally fucked off over the years, Ramsey. But I accept no responsibility for a mess you created. Dad, Dad, don't do it. Dad, Dad please don't do it. No. no. You did this. And I think you already know that's true. Responsible. I didn't. Responsible. It wasn't me. It's okay. It wasn't me. Just give me the gun. And let's put all this behind us. Okay? Responsible. Someone please don't do that. needs to pay. No, 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 no. Please, 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 Dad, Dad, put it down, put it down! Dad! Dad, please! Dad! So, that's it. For all I know, the Pandora is just simulating my consciousness. I still don't fully understand it, even now. But I left it all to you, Grace. I learned from Howard's mistakes. I own the patent. The measures are in place to ensure they can't just replicate it. It needs to be in the hands of someone like you. Someone pure. I love you, my darling. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Talking to you, Grace. I, I, I'm fine, Mum. I'm, I'm thinking. Grace, listen to me. I've done everything you asked. All we need is for you to sign a few papers, and we can continue where you're. Sweetie, you don't have to make this decision now. You're exhausted. Let's just head home, okay? Grace, talk to me. All you need to do is sign, and we'll transfer the money within. You're 20 a piece of work. You know that, Lenore. This is between me and Grace. This isn't anything to How do with you. How fucking dare you! I'm in a room with my crippled daughter, my dead husband, and my dead husband's whore! This is everything to do with me! Lenore, this is business. And from what I heard, your dead husband very nearly left you for that whore. You... 
Stop, stop, please, stop, both of you. Rose, I have a question. Go on. You had me kidnapped. You strapped a bomb to me. You conspired against my father, the man who gave you this opportunity in the first place. Chris, what are you saying? Are you telling me she's responsible for all this? My father may have had his flaws, but he didn't deserve to go through that. He lost his wife, he thought he'd lost his daughter, and he took his own life. His blood is on your hands. My question is this. How does that make you feel? Grace? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not sure what you saw in there, but the technology isn't perfect and memories can be skewed and manipulated. We've never attempted this on someone in your father's condition before. His condition? Robert's condition? Rose, my husband, is dead! Oh my god, I need to sit down. Lenore, the technology deals in variables, not truths. You wouldn't understand. The bullshit. I understand. I understand perfectly. And I've made my decision. My love. Don't worry, Mum. It's, it's exactly as we discussed. Okay. As long as you're sure. I'm, I'm sure. Go on. I'll take your money, and you can continue my father's work. Oh, my God. Grace, you won't regret this. She signs nothing over. She retains full ownership. Grace gets final say on all decisions. Nothing happens without her knowing it. Of course. Absolutely. One more thing. Grace. It's, it's all right, Mum. I know what I'm doing. What is it? You put a team together. You train them up, teach them everything they need to know. Already in place. And then you quit. Uh, <laughs> excuse me? You quit. When I leave here today, I don't want to see you again. I don't want to even hear your name. My father's technology will progress under my guidance, but you will have absolutely nothing to do with it. I really don't think that's going to work out. Those are my terms. Tell your boss. Listen, Grace... Tell you... your boss. Mum, let's go home. Of course. Grace, wait, uh, come back. Let's discuss this. No. There's nothing more to talk about. Grace! Goodbye, Rose. Bye, Dad. Thank you.